finally, if Mr. Liu or Mr. Patrick say anything about how they don't like each other, they're best friends and we all know it. Be confident. Listen and participate in your class. Take notes if you want to. That helps. That helped me. And ask a teacher questions if you don't understand them or hear them that well because sometimes with their mask on, we don't understand them or hear them that well. So ask questions and they'll explain later. And you get through this just like we did. So. Don't forget in English in Mr. Lu's class um, for the minor assignments, the font has to be in Times New Roman and um, you have to... The, Always put the word count. And secondly, one organization is key. And if you don't have everything together, it's gonna get all over the place, and you're gonna lose it. Second of all, next uh, this year when you're in Monsieur Patrick's class, please don't get distracted. Don't sleep because everything he tells you is most probably going going to be in the exam. So please listen to him. Always listen in class, and trust me, it'll be worth it. Second, don't spend too much time on social media. Third, if Mr. Lu ever asks you if you like bacon or if you've watched one of the SHTV episodes, always say yes. And finally, if Mr. Lu or Mr. Patrick say anything about how they don't like each other, they're best friends and we all know it. So first of all, don't procrastinate, just do it. If you procrastinate, you're gonna feel bad about yourself later on when you actually have to do it. It's not as hard as you think. Um, so spend your time wisely. Second of all, like I said, it's not as hard as you think. At first, I thought it was going to be super hard and complicated, but I was so wrong. It's actually quite easy in my opinion. So don't overstudy, especially in history. And um, third of all, your grades don't define you. That percentage on the corner of your test don't mean anything as long as you tried your best. You could be spending all night studying but failing anyways. You're still very smart, maybe just not in that subject. So good luck. All right, here's a tip um, that I'd give for people going to seventh grade. It's to study like a week before the exam. Please do that. Don't be a fool like me and do it the night before. That is a very dumb idea. And um, you can do it with a friend. It can help you, but just make sure you don't get distracted. So if you're gonna have something that's gonna distract you, put it away from you. Preferably like another room or like, yeah. Uh, keep it away from you. And um, I'd recommend also to make a list. It'll keep you organized and uh, keep track of what you're doing. If you leave things to the last minute, you're gonna regret it and it's gonna really stress you out. And I'd even say to do things days and weeks in advance if you can because um, later on you'll thank yourself for it and you're, you'll have more time to relax and more downtime. Another thing is to really worry about yourself first and um, if you can't do something, don't stress yourself out too much over it and don't, don't like force yourself. And then lastly, um, do your best. There are three pieces of advice that I hope someone would have told me is to study more pay attention to what the teacher is saying and to take notes during class. Um, for example, in history class, the teacher would have told us if this information can be an exam question. My advice for the next year's secondary one students is to be organized, which will help them concentrate more on their work. I also wanna say that some of the exams are going to be hard. So to be more prepared, make sure to start studying weeks before the day of the exam, especially the final exams. And good luck because it's going to be very different in high school. For the upcoming next secondary one students, I definitely recommend them to always have loose leaf paper before getting an English class. Secondly, always have your binders with you because once the class has started, you won't be able to go get them. And thirdly, just a little friendly advisor, drink a big amount of coffee before getting in history class, or else, just like my classmates and I, you will probably fall asleep. High school is a, no, a whole type of other system that is very hard because there's a lot of material to learn, especially in math and English, because math and English is, a, is very difficult because it's advanced and there's a lot of new subjects to learn and listen in class because that's the key to success if you listen and pay attention and take notes and then study hard 
you'll get very good grades and it'll be very easy for you. So first of all, always pay attention in class, whether it's boring or not, you should always pay attention because it will help you with your studies with the future tests that are coming out, coming up that week. Next up is always be organized. Your organization will help you with your schoolwork, whether it's, in, whether it's organization in your locker or in your paperwork, it will always help you in the end. And a little bonus, make sure you pay attention and obey to Mr. Lou because if you don't, you will pay. Hello future sequence, so my advice to you this school year is to not be distracted when in class. This means to actually try and listen to the teacher and what they are teaching to you. This can improve your final grade at the end because you are understanding the lesson even better and actually know what, what, the, whole, um, what the whole subject is about. And plus the teacher can be in the middle of giving tricks and hints about what the final exam is going to be and if you don't um, and if you don't listen then you're not going to be able to know what those are don't be so hard on yourself switching from primary school to secondary school is a big change and especially during these hard times it's going to be much harder than usual so don't be afraid to ask for help and don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes and if you if you're struggling to keep up Go ask your teachers for help and go ask your friends for help. It's okay. Although some days you are going to be overwhelmed with homework and tests, that's okay because if you don't postpone any homework and you submit your assignments on time, it will help you succeed at the end of the year during the final exams. Other than that, enjoy and have fun because it's your first year in high school. Work hard and put effort on every project uh, stay focused on your work and not anything else that is bothering you so it won't be a distraction. Learn from the mistakes you make so you don't repeat them again. Listen to what the teacher says. Be creative, aim high, and always try your best. So advice I'd give next year suck ones is try to not procrastinate so much and leave everything for last minute because the work could pile up, you'd get stressed and you'd have to do everything at night and because you wouldn't have that much free time after finishing your homework. Secondly, always try your best and put effort into um, studying for exams because if you do get a bad grade on an, a test, you wouldn't feel so bad about it because you, you would know that you worked hard and you put the effort into studying for it. Do not leave today's homework for tomorrow. Always stay organized and participate in class take notes, and don't be shy to ask questions. Most importantly, do not try to convince Mr. Patrick for less exams. He will give you more. Unfortunately, this year we did not experience a normal year of high school, but I hope you guys experience the best. I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to succeed in Mr. Lu's English class. In fact, this is not easy at all. It requires a lot of hard work and effort. First, you have to turn in all of your assignments on time, do all the homework when it's needed, respect his rules and criteria, and you have to respect Mr. Lu himself. There will be a lot of new challenges you will face in high school, but the one thing to keep in mind is that you're not alone as your fellow classmates are facing the same challenges. And don't forget to never give up and keep working hard. My first advice to next year's sec ones is to not stress. Uh, stressing will just make will just complicate your first year in high school. Um, in the beginning of the year, I was stressing and it didn't really help much. And after a while, I realized that it was really all for nothing. My second advice is definitely to complete all your homework. It's a lot, but it's just for your own good. Sometimes you'll be lazy and you'll say, I don't have to do this, it's just for extra credit, or I don't have to do this, it's like I already know all the stuff. Trust me when I say you'll need the practice. Practice makes perfect, and the homework that the teachers give you proves it. Um, and third, listen. If there's anything I've learned this year, it's to listen in class, to focus in class at all times. Um, those little seconds you missed could be the most important seconds of the subject that the teacher is explaining. And trust me, if you listen in class, Sometimes you don't have to study for the exams. My first piece of advice would be to follow the rules and apply them in your assignments. Why? Because it will limit the chances of your grades being reduced. 
My second tip would be to submit your assignments early on because it will save you time and you will be able to do your work without any stress. My advice to next year's Segunda A is don't be scared to ask questions in class. Don't be embarrassed by any of that. Um, also, even though the changes like seem very scary, they're not. You're going to adapt to them and it's going to get easier. Also, be confident and believe in yourself. A grade on your paper doesn't determine how intelligent or smart you are. You have to understand and remember what you learn at school so you can use that in your everyday life in the future and for your general knowledge. If you understand a subject very easily but you get a bad grade on a test, it doesn't mean that you're bad at it. Everybody makes mistakes and that is completely okay. In secondary school, the program is different. It's get, it gets more difficult and needs more work. So, my advice for the next school year will be to work every day, to do your tasks more seriously, because at the end of the school year, you have an exam on everything you learned that year. And you have to do well on that final exam to be able to go in secondary too. I would like to tell them to keep their heads up and work really hard in every subject, even the ones that they don't like. And don't forget that you can do everything that others can. Don't be afraid to ask anything that you don't understand. It's okay to not understand everything at the beginning. You'll get better at it each day.